extremely balanced energy, black kyanite in specific, best protective energy field, best protector for your energy field out of anything that I've ever experienced. Extremely grounding, but still allowing you to tap into those higher chakras in the third eye. Super, super intuitive, okay? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Nathan and I make videos that have to do with metaphysics, manifestation, and connecting the two topics together with awareness to create happiness. <laughs> so I've got this whole crystal series going on and I wanted to let all my friends know that the crystal series is back um, and uh, it's about time. <laughs> so I decided to kick it off with this new vibe kind of coming in with what I believe to be the most powerful crystal in correlation to the price. Uh, and what we're talking about here is black kyanite. Now I'm also going to discuss um, some of the other kyanites here in this video too, but the main focus is black kyanite. Now what I mean by the most powerful crystal for the price is literally that there's a lot of these super powerful crystals that we've been talking about here on the channel. You know, we've been talking about Diamantina Lemurian Quartz, we've been talking about Moldavite, you know, Libyan Desert Glass, Phenakite. And these are super awesome and they're absolutely some of my favorites. Um, but they're also really expensive <laughs> and they're not necessarily something that everybody is ready to reach out and afford for themselves. So that's why we're talking about Black Kyanite because I guarantee you that no matter who you are, no matter where you are in the world or what your situation is, you can not afford black kyanite. And you really ought to, because black kyanite is an extremely powerful, intense energy that even somebody who's not very sensitive to crystals will feel and experience a massive impact in their life of benefits. Um, and so we're gonna talk about some of those benefits. Now, black kyanite is hands down, the most protective energy that I've actually ever worked with, okay? So I wouldn't trade any other crystal, even taking cost out of the equation. There is no crystal that I have worked with that is as protective as black kyanite. Do you work with protective crystals? Is this something that you dabble in and you work with energetically? Because if you do, I would love to know from you, what are your favorite protective crystals and what might you recommend that we might be able to feature on this channel as well? I'd love to learn from you guys just the same as I make these videos for you. You know, it's a, it's a whole team effort. It's a community here, right? So this is absolutely my favorite, black kyanite. But before we can really understand what it is about black kyanite that's so protective and why it's valuable, there's a totally different conversation that we need to have to make it relevant and to really understand the true resonance that this power brings into our lives. So, <laughs> you are a physical person in your body, right? And you're here and you're navigating a physical reality. Right now I'm actually hiking up a place called Mount Eddy in Mount Shasta, California. As you can tell, it is snowing right now. It's pretty windy. <laughs> but anyways, that's just some context here, okay? So you are a physical person navigating a physical reality. But there's so much energy and different dimensions of things that are going on. So specifically what we're talking about here is that there's actually a system within your body. I'm not a professional when it comes to this information. But I will tag an article below that just dives into this a little bit deeper for you if you're interested. And it's the Meridian System. So there's a meridian line and system within your body, and it's a movement of energy. It's a flow, right? It's a river. Now, a lot of us actually have this meridian system dammed up. We have a lot of problems with the meridian, right? We aren't necessarily living our lives in the most healthy and effective way for ourselves. We're carrying a lot of stuff that isn't ours. These are things that can block up the meridian system. But naturally, this meridian system does exist, and that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about healing the meridian system in this video. We're talking about why protection is relevant here. So the meridian system, the way that you can imagine it, is a stream of energy coming up through the ground into your feet, and it comes out your head like a fountain. Imagine literally a fountain, and it's coming around like this, kind of just shooting out the top off the sides like this. But simultaneously, there's also the same flow of energy that's coming up through your feet, coming in through your head and doing the fountain under your feet like this. So it literally creates kind of like an egg shape around your body of this flow of energy. Now you might feel 
in your skin, in your physical person, you can feel the way your skin feels on your body, right? Just go ahead and feel that for a second. Take a moment of conscious awareness to feel what it feels like to have skin, <laughs> right? This is, a, this is part of you. You associate yourself with it. Now imagine pushing that feeling of your skin out just a little bit further than what is your actual skin on your physical body. Feel that sensation outside of yourself. Big gurus, people who have insane energetic, energetic presence, they can literally <laughs> walk into a town or something and all the people in that town are automatically influenced and feeling that person as if they're standing next to them. They're feeling that energy because their energy is so big. That feeling of your skin being outside of yourself, that meridian, that flow, that fountain, for those of us that are able to visualize it and feel it expanding outward, that literally is the process of you expanding it outward. So you can make your body literally huge. Your energy can be so impactful. And there's a lot of different things you can do with this and uh, why this might be interesting to you. So go ahead, check out that article below. Now here's the thing. When we're talking about black kyanite for protection, this is my favorite thing about it, okay? This is absolutely what it is. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are unconsciously feeding on each other's energy these days. Uh, and this happens in all sorts of ways. But sometimes you might feel that you're hanging out with somebody and you feel kind of drained afterwards. Whether you are consciously aware of it or they're consciously aware of it, what is happening is your energy is being drained by them. This is what a lot of people, they call it like energy vampires. There's all certain different things to call it. Now, somebody doesn't necessarily going intentionally out of their way to feed on your energy. Maybe somebody just has had experiences in their life and they notice that when they have certain kind of conversations with people or when they interact in a certain way or maintain certain kinds of on, uh, eye contact, they feel good. So they just associate that this is something in their life that makes them feel good. They're not necessarily evil people trying to drain each other, right? <laughs> it's just a lot of unconscious behavior. We're not all exercising the kind of awareness that we could be. And so to be perfectly honest, it's highly likely that you are energy vampiring on other people too. I certainly tuned into this and I've been doing it, right? We feed on each other's energy. But we don't have to do this because there's a free energy that exists in the universe around us, right? And if you could tap into that free energy and you could feel it and use that for yourself, everything in your life becomes so much more powerful. Okay, let me tell you. Your manifestations, the way you feel about yourself, the imprint that you're able to make in reality, right? So the, the three things that I've mentioned here, you can see how they are coincided together. They connect. So there's a lot of really powerful stuff that can happen with free energy. I'll talk about that in a second because kyanite in general is awesome at tuning us into this and I'll tell you why. And it has to do with balance, just a hint, <laughs> okay? So when we talk about black kyanite for protection and why this energy is so insanely awesome is because black kyanite literally reaches out into that outer skin, that energy, that meridian fountain, okay? This flow of energy and it quite literally puts you in a position where no one can feed on your energy anymore. And I'm gonna explain a little bit th about that in a second, right? So what's literally happening is the black kind is protecting you from having your energy drained by others. Now, if you're somebody who feels a certain vibe, let's say you feel really good and then all of a sudden you go home and you're around your family and they have a certain vibe and now all of a sudden because you're a sensitive empath, you have now felt into their energy and completely lost touch with the vibe that you were feeling and now you're feeling what they've been feeling. Okay, this is another example of what black kyanite can help us with and to protect us from. It keeps you in your energy and it keeps others out. Absolutely 100% best crystal energy that I have ever worked with that does this. All right, <laughs> so here's the thing about black kyanite. And let me go ahead and pull this out for you. It's kind of stuck in my pocket, so give me one moment. And we're gonna talk about blue kyanite here for a second too, okay? Here's a piece of blue kyanite that I have. This is a nice, really sexy, polished piece. I really like it a lot. <laughs> right, so we have black kyanite and blue kyanite. And you know what? I just decided I'm gonna do a giveaway in this video too, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. 
so I can hook some of you guys up with some uh, some kyanite here. I have a feeling that somebody's watching this video that's destined for a specific piece that I actually saw before starting to make this. And I, I don't know why I didn't think to mention in the beginning, but I'm going to go ahead and give it away in this video, okay? So the reason that blue kyanite and black kyanite, this is why the energy is so profound for us to tap into what I'll refer to here as free energy, okay? We're talking about the energy of the cosmos. Now we've got different forms of energy, right? Physiological, this is the energy that you could consider, this is the energy that you get from sleeping and resting and eating food, eating well. This is physiological energy. Free energy is just the energy of oneness with the universe around you. You are everything, you are infinite. Tapping into that makes it so that we can achieve so much more in our lives than you could possibly even begin to scratch the, fur, per, uh, the surface of what even achievement means, okay? <laughs> but here's the thing about why kyanite's so profound in helping us tap into that free energy, not the physiological, but the free energy. And it's because all kyanite, even green kyanite, okay? All of them, even orange, has a profound balancing effect on the system within you. That is insanely balancing. The energy of blue kyanite is like this neutral kind of indifference. It's this inner calm, okay? Not confidence. I have some other crystals I talk about confidence with, but it's an inner calm. It's that kind of person in the movie or, or a show or whatever that you're watching where they don't have this overt confidence that they're walking around, oh yeah, yeah, look at me, check me out. You can just feel it within them. They don't even need to tell anybody about it. They don't need to give some kind of show to prove to everybody how confident they are. They don't even need to move anywhere outside of themselves. They have inner calm. It's not a faith in themselves, it's not a belief in themselves, it's inner calm. This is what we are feeling off of them, right? And this is the energy of blue kyanite because it's balanced, it's neutral, it's inner calm. And let me tell you something, my experience with black and blue kyanite in specific is so nice and smooth. It smooths things out, okay? It really helps me to feel all the chaotic energy and things shaking around within me, just kind of smoothing out and coming to this balanced place. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this helps us to tap into free energy. Number one, because you're not projecting all kinds of crazy excess energy in different directions. It smooths you out, it balances you. When you come to this state of balance and this inner calm with yourself, there's no longer this need to be project projecting all this crazy energy. <laughs> because you feel that really, whatever you want in life, you don't have to want it. You don't have to reach for it or anything. Because you realize it's already here you have it. It's not going to take any expenditure of energy because that's how powerful you are. You can just have it right now and move towards it and let it come to you. You no longer go out of your way to go to things in your life. You let them come to you. This is an extremely, extremely powerful energy that Kyanite can help us to tap into and there's so many applications of it. Now, not only this, but the meridian system that I mentioned earlier on, it has lots of dams that build up in it, right? We can have little issues in there where it clogs it up, the flow isn't as good. And so getting this balance, it helps to smooth that out, balance the meridian system, and help that flow of the fountain to go. Now, aside from kyanite, I wanna mention one thing before we do the giveaway here. Imagine that fountain coming up through the ground spurting out of your head like this and imagine it coming through your head out the ground and creating this egg shape of energy around you just imagine it visualize it feel it feel it here right now and realize with me here in this moment that your imagination is not just for fantasy stories your imagination is what is literally creating your entire perceived experience and everything that you're able to do within it so just by using your imagination and imagining that energy field expanding around you, spend a few minutes every single day doing this, you will start to have incredible, incredible energy and you will tap into that free energy. And this is even aside from kyanite, okay? I just wanted to throw that in there. Just visualize it, just feel it. And this inadvertently helps you to get that flow going again. How cool is that? <laughs> How cool is that, right? So, the piece of black kyanite that you're looking at on the screen right now is the one that we're gonna go ahead and give away in this video. 
So there's three things to do to be included as a potential winner, okay? Number one, realize this is a robot algorithm who chooses. It's not me. There's three things the algorithm looks at for you to be included. Number one, you've liked this video. Number two, you are a subscriber to the channel. Don't worry, lots of really good crystal videos coming out and other metaphysical manifestation stuff. You won't regret it. And number three, drop a comment below and let me know what is the most balancing energy to you or what is your favorite thing about kyanite? That's all you have to do. That's the prompt, okay? So those are the three things to do. And I will let you know within two weeks by responding to your comment that the algorithm has chosen you. Uh, so just real quick, so all my friends know here, I have been putting in some more giveaways again. And I wanted to let you know that what I'm doing is at the end of the month, I'm going through all the videos that I've done giveaways in. And we're going to go ahead and send them all out in the same day. Uh, and that just helps me to not feel stressed out and try to keep up with, oh my God, I did this one last week. I said I'd do it today. There's a single day each month I'm going to go through. We're going to get the winners. I'll reach out to you and I'm going to mail them all out in the same way, uh, in the same day. And my partner Ruby's going to help me with that. So I just wanted to let everybody know that that's how it's happening now. That will help me to stop, you know, <laughs> I won't be stressed by it. I'll be smooth, right? I don't have to worry about it. We've got it all worked out, baby. All right. Now, I think that there was something else, actually, that I said that I was going to talk about when it comes to kyanite. So go ahead and give me a moment. I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead to the part where I realized what it was I was going to say. <laughs> Another thing that I really, really, really love about black kyanite is its grounding energy. And yet, it is extremely tuned into our third eye. The first time I picked up a piece of black kyanite or really looked at it, <laughs> I could feel my entire head just like pulsing, especially in the third eye area. I mean, it was just like, and it was actually so intense that I remember saying to Ruby, I was like, holy crap, like, <laughs> how did this piece of kyanite only cost me like $13? Like, I'm used to feeling energy like that from something crazy, crazy expensive, right? And then I started holding it, and I really started looking at it. And what's interesting is I started to feel myself going from my third eye, like I said, this pulsing sensation, pulling me deep, deep, deep into the earth, but not grounding me away from all the magic and things that you experience in the upper chakras, just simply balancing them out and helping me to become in a more present flow state of being able to appreciate and exercise my awareness with these things. If that makes any sense to you guys, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Just throwing it out my, for my friends there. If you've got a favorite thing about the kyanite, like aside from the giveaway, like I'd love to talk to you guys about this because it's an extremely overlooked energy. And I noticed something in the crystal community that people really only are talking about the really expensive ones. And I got to be honest, there's probably a slight reason for this that like crystal sellers like myself, it helps us. It helps us to have you guys buy the crystals from us and support the content and support what we're doing because you don't make much from YouTube. But there are some cheaper ones that you could get anywhere and you deserve to know about them and their power. Just because something is affordable does not mean that the exchange of energy you're going to get from it is not extremely valuable and expensive in a whole other dimension of things, okay? You know, keep your eye out. Look out there, check out stuff, see what resonates with you, you know? Don't just listen to the people telling you what to get that are selling them. Listen to your intuition and your excitement to search out there for your own and check stuff out, you know? You never know. Like, I just got this piece of cabin site. I'll show you guys, I'll zoom in on that. I've got it wrapped on my neck. This one actually is a little bit more of an expensive one, but like, I'm gonna make some videos for you guys on this too because I am vibing so hard with this one right now. <laughs> what are you guys vibing with? So. Black kyanite, blue kyanite, orange kyanite, green kyanite, extremely balanced energy. Black kyanite in specific, best protective energy field. Best protector for your energy field out of anything that I've ever experienced. Extremely grounding, but still allowing you to tap into those higher chakras in the third eye. Super, super intuitive, okay? Lots of psychic action and ability here. I've got a whole video all about blue kyanite actually and how it can help you to astral travel. If you happen to be new here, you might not know, I've got an entire series on astral travel. I do this all the time. It's an incredible thing to do. Kyanite is the best crystal I've ever experienced to help me to tap into that energy of astral travel. So if that sounds interesting to you, I've got some videos below that you might want to check out. <laughs> so thanks so much guys for tuning in. Once again, my name's Nathan. It's really nice to meet you. If this is your first time here, introduce yourself. I will actually go out of my way to meet you because I love making connections. And uh, I'll see you for the next video. Uh, much love 
and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.